Hello, everybody, and welcome to Feature Fridays. Uh, thank you very much for joining us, taking time out of your day. My name is Garrett Trod, and joining me today is the one and only Jackie Kwan. Jackie, how are you today? I'm okay. Now uh, Now I'm, I'm worried. Is it Feature Fridays? <laughs> is it plural, or is it Feature Friday? <laughs> I guess I should have asked you this before we started. Uh, yeah, let's call it, let's call it either or. Let's throw an S on there when you want to, and we don't we don't have to. How about feature Friday parentheses S parentheses? <laughs> yeah, let's be that semantic about it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to Banter's R Us, and uh, we're just going to go back and forth here and not actually tell you about, about anything new. <laughs> uh, no, but Jackie, I believe we have um, a new maintenance tool available here, don't we? Maybe it's it's not that new. We did launch it a couple of weeks ago, but I'm but we are featuring it today. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Um, well, I don't really have much more of an intro, so I'm going to let you take it away. <laughs> <laughs> today we're going to be talking about some account management tools. Um, so now, while it's uh, probably a little bit slow at your club, or you know you're just transitioning across from seasons or whatnot, you might have um, uh, you know just just some cleanup maintenance to do with with some of your uh, some of your participants and some of your your accounts and we've actually launched a set of tools that build on top of the tools that we already have within uplifter uh, to make some of those things a lot easier and as well we've also provided some additional stronger support to be able to handle um, some of those uh, different cases where you've you've got some um, complicated relationships that you might want to take care of in terms of blended families so uh, without further ado I'm gonna jump into our demo site here so here I'm on my demo Townsville skating site um, and let's go over to our admin page so, um, so the first thing that um, previously I know a lot of people who have been using Uplifter are probably familiar with is um, we've had this tool uh, forever and a day for merging accounts. So under people and accounts and member accounts, I'm going to grab a couple of account members. So, so let's take a look and see. I know, for example, um, you know, you might have situations where where two members have, even though they're part of the same family, they may have created separate accounts. Or in this case, let's say, you know, these two families actually have separate accounts within Uplifter, but they are, they're merging. Let's say they're getting together and they decided, you know, that they're, they're, they're going to be now a new blended family unit. And um, they want to be able to share accounts because Mary wants to be able to now register for Suzanne and Charlie wants to be able to register for Cher and Lily and Patrick Towns. So, so I've got these two member accounts and you can see here Mary has uh, her her account uh, status here with how much money she owes and Charlie has his separate account with Suzanne City in in his group um, and uh, they are separate accounts so let's look at merging them so the first thing we'll do is we'll jump into Mary's account and a lot of administrators are probably familiar with this feature here so once you're in Mary's account you can click on the family tab and you can merge in another account now what this will do um, now, what you'll want to do is make sure that you grab the right person to merge, because once you've merged these two accounts, um, there are a lot of elements of merging these accounts that's not very, it's irreversible. So we've, we, what we're go going to do is we're going to take all the participants from Charlie's account and add them to Mary's account, and Mary will also be able to see all the participants from Charlie's account, and they'll be able to work as one cohesive family unit in terms of registration and managing their account. So now I'm going to merge those two accounts. And so when you do this, make sure when you're searching for the name, you might want to search for email address because that is unique within our system, just in case there are some uh, people or members that might have duplicate names. Um, this gives you a slight little warning just to make sure you want to do exactly this. So what we're going to do is we're going to merge these two accounts. And let's go back to this page where we saw these two, and we're just going to refresh this page. So now that we've refreshed this page and we've merged these two accounts, we can now see that they both share the same uh, amount that's in arrears in their accounts, and now they actually have all four participants in both of their accounts. So this is how you take two different family accounts and you merge them into one and now they can share all of those elements. So, perfect. So, but there might be situations where um, you need to split up that family account. Let's say, for example, you did this by accident 
and 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 that does happen. We we understand that, that sometimes mistakes can be made, um, but as well there might be a situation where um, let's say this blended family is no longer a blended family unit and they've decided to separate, which is sometimes a sticky situation where you know there's some shared information and you know one parent wants to make sure that the other parent might not have as much access to the information that was there. Um, we've added this new feature just recently, which will allow you to actually unlink those accounts. So when you are in the one account that you want to remove that member from, now keep in mind there's, a, there's just a couple of things that, that, that you need to keep in mind when you actually do this, this unlinking of the accounts. So as you've seen here, both Charlie and Mary now have access to all four participants. Um, and when you unlink somebody, the person who becomes unlinked will no longer have access to all of those participants. So, and there's a couple of different situations that you may run into where you might want to reshare those, those participants and we'll, we'll get to that shortly. But let's just look at the situation where Charlie has decided that he's no longer part of the family unit and Mary has asked you to remove his access from this account altogether. So once you uh, once you go into Mary's account and you all you have to do is you just need to click this unlink button beside Charlie's name and it will then remove access to all the participants and all the other elements uh, of the account to Charlie. So when we go back to that family tab, you'll see that he's no longer there. Um, other things that you'll notice is that under the participants, you'll still see these four participants. But let's go back to this page. We'll, we'll just refresh this and we'll see now that Charlie is sort of off on his own in an island, no participants in his account. So, poor Charlie. <laughs> poor Charlie. He was voted off the island. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, uh, so if we go into Charlie's account, we'll see here um, that he has no participants in his account. Um, now, the one thing that we do keep with Charlie though, however, is if he did actually uh, complete any registration invoices by his account personally when he was logged in, any of those registration invoices would stay with him, even though he may not have access to those participants. He'll see those, those invoices. The way that we view it is that it's that financial information that was in originally instigated by Charlie are still his financial transactions with your club. So. Um, so if there are any invoices, they'll still be here, uh, but he no longer has access to those participants. Um, however, there might be situations where you want to um, give uh, access to that, that participant to a member account. Now, this is a feature that we've actually had for a while. So, so in this example, let's say we've got Mary Towns. She's got her three children from, from, a, from a previous marriage, but then she also has Suzanne, which she is now the stepmother of. And Suzanne, uh, Charlie and Mary have decided that both of them can now register for Suzanne. So let's go into Mary's account. And because she is the account owner for Suzanne, uh, we're going to go back under family. And what we can do is we can invite Charlie to have access to Suzanne's account. So what you would do is under the family tab, select Suzanne as a participant, click on the email uh, icon, and here you will invite. Uh, you can have Mary invite uh, Charlie to create a separate account. Um, and have access to Suzanne. Now, this is a great way to allow your members to sort of self-serve all of this. Um, uh, I'm gonna show you a way as an administrator where you can sort of bypass all of this, but if you want an email confirmation that Charlie will email, uh, through the email confirmation, click on a link and confirm that he has access to Suzanne's account, or Suzanne's, uh, partic the participant Suzanne, you can certainly do it in this method, and just make sure that he is invited to create a separate account. Now, now what will happen is when you send the email to Charlie, um, he'll receive an email that says, you know, uh, we'd like to invite you to take access to this uh, participant. When he clicks on the link, he'll have the option to actually log in with his, an exist, his existing account, and it would automatically attach Suzanne to his account, um, but the two accounts will still be maintained separately. Mary will still have access to all four children, uh, and meanwhile, Charlie will only have access to Suzanne's par, uh, profile, but not the other children in Mary's uh, account. So this is this is a great way to handle some of those uh, sticky blended family relationships where you know mom has access to you know all of the children, um, but but dad only has access to one or two of them or or whatnot. Um, so so this is a great way to handle this. And and again, this is something that the parents can do on their own, and you can provide this information. Now, just a quick note here in case you aren't familiar with this feature. 
feature, we do have this other option that says invite to join my account. This is the same action as if you were to merge the two accounts. So if you were to select this instead, when Charlie accepts this email, he would then be merged back in the family and see everybody. And we provide all of this information here at the top. So if you want to allow him to just have access to the one participant, just make sure to select invite to create a separate account. But let's say you as a club administrator, you don't want to explain all of that to your parents and you want to sort of take charge of this and, and be able to handle this because the parents don't want to email each other and whatnot. Not a problem at all. So here under Mary's account, let's go over to participants. Um, and under participants, we're going to go into Suzanne's participant profile. Now this is the profile that we want to actually um, allow uh, Charlie to have access to. So we've added this notion of what we call participant account owners. Every participant will, will have an account that owns that participant and basically is sort of the, the master account that's attached to that participant. So now under the participant account under family members, you'll see this new edit icon that says change account owner. So if we click on this icon, you'll now see a new drop down that, that gives you a list of any of the member accounts that actually have access to this account. So what we want to do here is we want to actually associate this participant to Charlie's account. So again, let's just look for Charlie. Here we are. Um, you're going to have a couple of options here. If you want to make Charlie the new account owner, um, but still leave Mary on the account, you could select this checkbox and leave this checkbox unchecked. If you, however, want to transfer Suzanne completely over to Charlie's account and remove Mary Mary's access from Suzanne, then you would select the second icon or the this, this second checkbox, remove access to this participant from the original account owner. Um, or let's say we want to allow Suzanne to still continue to be the owner of the uh, participant account, um, uh, and, but we just want to add Charlie so that Charlie has access to be able to register. So, so there's a couple of different ways that you might want to do this where, you know, some of the kids might be owned by one parent and some of the other kids would be, uh, would be under the account ownership of a different parent. So, so you certainly have all of that flexibility to do those elements. So in this case, let's, uh, let's make Charlie the account owner and let's leave uh, Mary as having access to this account. So now I'm going to click that, and now we'll see that under Suzanne's uh, profile, her uh, member account owner is Charlie City. And if we click this, we'll now see that we actually have a dropdown with both Mary's name and Charlie's name to change the ownership of. So what this dropdown tells us is both Mary and Charlie both have access to the participant profile of Suzanne. They can both register. Uh, Suzanne for, for programs. Um, they can both edit her account, um, uh, but Charlie is sort of the official owner of that account uh, or, or owner of that, that participant. What we'll now be able to do as well is now that Charlie is the owner, um, and this is a, um, you might have seen this uh, previously. Hold on a second, let me just click over here. Let's go back to Mary's uh, account profile. And under Mary's account profile, if we click on participants here, You'll see here now that Suzanne is in her list, but Suzanne also has this icon to be able to unlink Suzanne from her account. Because Suzanne is not, uh, she is not the account owner for Suzanne, you can actually remove access from Suzanne's um, uh, participant profile from Mary just by clicking this unlink button. Now this is very handy if uh, uh, I know that we have a lot of skating clubs or um, skating, skating participants that have actually registered for competitions, especially for synchro. Um, and they've used our team registration feature where they've been uploading team rosters, um, but they've uploaded a whole bunch of um, participants in their list that aren't necessarily their kids, uh, but they are part of their team because they were sort of the team manager that, that was in charge of the registration. Um, if those participants in your list are owned by other members yeah, from a different Skate Canada club, um, you can now unlink those participants to clean up your participant list. So I know that there are a lot of Skate Canada sections that we're using um, Uplifter for synchro registration where this will be really handy to, to clean up your participant lists. Uh, just note that once you've unlinked them from your list, they will also be unlinked from um, any of the teams that you have set up within your, uh, within your account as well. So that's a great sort of season end sort of cleanup task that you might want to, to complete in your, um, in, in your uh, section site where you have registered for synchro registrations or, <clears throat> or excuse me, synchro, synchro competitions. Um, so 
that uh, those different elements give clubs and administrators and um, uh, accounts account owners tons of flexibility to to give uh, specific access to different participants to handle blended families where you know uh, two different parents have different access to different participants um, and and it gives you quite a bit more flexibility for for allowing those parents to not have too much access to um, to to all of the registrants within their system so um, I, that that's all I, I have. It's also technically still spring for another two weeks. So it's a great spring cleaning exercise, which is great. You can get us all cleaned up, be fresh and ready for summer. You, you're really into the spring cleaning. <laughs> Clean up, you're done. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we're actually going to be launching some additional tools to help you with additional database management um, cleanup tasks as well over the, the coming weeks. So we'll have another feature Friday in a little while um, once we do launch those tools. Um, but in the meantime, yeah, it's uh, a wonderful, um, a wonderful June week that we're supposed to be having, at least where we're at. And we hope that everybody is faring well and being safe during these crazy times and um, know that things are beginning to lift a little bit. And, and um, everybody, please stay positive. Um, and, um, you know, we're hoping for the best for everything. So uh, if you have any questions, as always, contact us at support at upliftdrink.com. Garrett, anything else that I've missed at all? No, you did a wonderful job. Thank you so much for doing that. And uh, thank you to everyone for joining us. Did, are we? What are we talking about next week? I should have oh, asked you this uh, next week. Before. I believe we're doing instructors. I, I, are you ready to do that? Are you ready? <laughs> yeah, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for joining us, and have a wonderful weekend. And we will see you next week. Thank you. Take care.